Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. In this tutorial, we'll deal with the commands range by and stats by. These are very useful commands. Let's begin with this main is data interface active each time. Press Ctrl 8 for activating data editor and Ctrl 9 for activating do file. Let us prepare our data set. So we have two variables. And let us use our first command called range. It creates a variable of a specified range. We are going to create a variable B, and that range is between minus 40 to 300 and it will have 27 observations. Let us again create another variable called x and it ranges between 0 to 4 pi with 27 observations. Another variable a with this given expression and we're going to draw a line graph of y and x and we get this result. As we see, our AML is a categorical variable. It has the categories mid, low and air so three categories. Now we want to draw the line graph again based on these categories. So air, mid, and low. This is a very useful graph for categorical variables, involving categorical variables. Similarly, we are going to replicate the same process now by the scatter graph. So we are going to scatter graph, draw a scatter graph of y and x by these categories. C is for connect, the lines will be connected, and M symbol is for circle so they are correct so this is simple and this command will also generate the same graph it's get a graph this is very useful and this is about the command for range it creates a numerical range now let us move to our next command called by and this is very useful to display some results according to the categories our subset let us sort y and then drop the variable x and a let us record b and then order them according to our convenience by place so place is again a by plac plac is a categorical variable we have two categories usa and nepal and let us sort and then summarize b so the summary result will be of usa and nepal so this is of nepal and this is of usa you can see the results these are very simple so we are learning the command called by. So here we have used by and command sort differently. So you can merge them. By sort is the same, another way of producing the same result as above. So we are going to sort by place. And then we are going to summarize the results of B according to this place, two place, Nepal and US. So this is the result of B if the place is Nepal and result of B if the place is USA. And again, another way of writing it by place and AML. Now we are going to sort this by two categorical variable, place and AML. Place contains Nepal and USA. AML contains low, air, and mid. And we are going to summarize B. So we will have six interactions, two for two categories for place and three categories for AML. So overall, we will have six interactions. And for each interaction, we will get the summary result: USA, mid. USA low and the USA air. Similarly, we'll get the result for Nepal. USA air. Similarly for Nepal. Overall six categories. And this is another way of representing the same result. Let us run this again. Now let us try to create some variables using this by command. So again, we are going to sort by by sort by place and then we're going to generate a variable sum p that variable contains the sum of p in other words we are going to create the sum of b based on this category place so we will have two unique values for usa and nepal so this is for this much this value for 477 is for nepal and then this value is for usa this is the sum of b for each category Similarly, let us place an AML, now our categorical variables, we are going to generate the same result, sum of B, for the interactions of place and AML. So we'll have six unique values in total. And let us sort and order, we will see this result. So we will have this result, sum P and sum PA, this is for interactions. So we have two unique values here. And we'll have six unique values over here. Nepal Air, Nepal Meet, Nepal Low, similarly US Air, US Meet, and US Low. Six unique values. 
this is very useful and very easy answer now let us go to our next command stats by this also creates the statistics based on the category of variables let us sort b drop these variables that we don't require and let us preserve and then create some summary statistics let us preserve this original data and here we are going to stats by aml again the category is aml three categories in this variable aml and we are going to summarize why so this summary statistics will be created in our data set or in our memory if you see this is the result for this categories and these are the statistics involved now let us again restore our data and try another result again you need to we need to preserve this and let us practice this okay so what does this do this will again based on this category is aml we are going to create the total same summary way but the total the row for total is included in this case this the uh, according to aml we will have, this is the row for total 29 observations in total this and this weight is 27 again mean this is the variant so this information are for the each categories and this is for the total category so the mean of the 27 observation is actually 149 now let us again restore our data previous data and then again preserve it and try another variation so what will let us see what is the difference we are going to again create a variable there are two categories in both place and AML and we're going to create the subsets of the data possible and we're, we're going to summarize the variable Y and let us see it. This is also very intuitive and very simple. You see for each air, mid and low for this category and for USA again air, mid and low. So their interactions to so overall six interactions and the subset will help create this row this is the total for nepal this row is the total for usa this row is the total for air and this row is the total for mid and this row is the total for low and this is the grand total and the statistics involved are also same if you play around with this this is very simple stuff now let me restore our data back i'm gonna again try another variation we have tried this let us try this again bio so what is the new thing it will trace this option trace is unique so it will trace the data all the way you see the nature of display in our main data interface let me run this and you see there is a this result a detailed result and i have explained this already this row is the total of nepal this row is the total of usa this row is the total for air this row is the total for mid so 9 is the total for mid 5 plus 4 is 9 total or average so you can explain it according to the nature so average mean variance and so on now let us again restore it back so what is new on this command so the verbos we have delta trace subset and verbos let us see what is the difference is there's not much difference the summary statistics this is the same summary statistics now let me restore our data back and see yes we have restored and let me preserve this before i run okay so that will not come into trouble again so we have dealt with this verbose as well now let us See what does this do trace verbose and we're going to save this data okay save the summary statistics that we generate in the name it starts by practice and we can again call it back so let me save this so the file with this name already exists so why don't we delete it so this file we delete it now we're going to save this and then let us restore our data back so there is no any change so now let me again Run preacher and we're going to call that data that we have saved and if i use this now the data that we have saved from here this is this includes the summary statistics you see this is the summary statistics 
and you can use this now let me again restore our previous data do we have any other thing so we can use try another use of this command so let me again generate a variable or see this variable and we're going to run a regression and save the beta estimates and standard reader so let me preserve this and let us see what happens so we're going to generate the statistics by place two categories and then we're going to run a regression y on b and c so let us run this we get this result so according to place for nepal and for usa this is the beta estimate and b and c and this is the constant let me restore in fact our data and let me again preserve it this is very useful to play around with the beta estimates of regression regression estimates actually what well, now we have preserved already let us see what is the difference in this again this is again the same by place again we are going to whether you specify this underscore beta or not the by default you will get the statistics of beta and we are going to again by according to place for nepal and usa the result is same now if you want your let me again restore our data back and preserve it again and then if you want the summary statistics of standard error also to be displayed then you need to specify this is for a standard error and let us see now we'll get again again by place so for nepal and usa we will get the beta estimates along with the standard error so this is the beta estimate this is the standard error this is very simple now let me again restore our data pack and we don't need to do anything else so we are done with this command now before we end our tutorial let us see some of other useful commands pwd will display the information about the present working directory so let me extend this a little bit and pwd it's give you the information of the present working directory so this is the present working directory for me and if i write there this will display all the files and folders in the present working directory so these are the list of present working directories folders and files and if now let us use another command jipping all text files so let us use this command for zip file okay so here we have this file zip file let me erase this first and if I write there, you won't see this zip again for, from starting from jail. We don't have any. Now I want to zip the file, all the text files, okay? So this asterisk states any of the characters or alphabets or anything. So the, uh, the file is text file. I'm going to zip all the text file and save it by this name. J txt files zipped. Let me zip this. Now you see these files, these all are the text files. They have been added or zipped now let me run this here and you will see our file by that name created now let me again unzip this file and you see what happened this is a very simple command unzip file name and replace now you see unzip these files are unzip now and if i run the command called dir you still get this but this is unzip here you will get the text file these are very simple and useful commands if you not only text file you can zip any other files if you write doc for doc file do for do files and whatever extension you like or even dta for all those state data files please take your time in understanding this this is it for this tutorial thank you very much for your time thank you very much econometrics melody